you want. Uh, and then into fall as well. So I think what really makes the creamy different is you're getting that wonderful creamy consistency with whatever you put into your pint. Uh, and I love that you can do fresh, real ingredients, real milk, real sugar, real cream, and real strawberries. And so this is a little strawberry um, ice cream that we did here. Shannon's pulling out the store-bought so she can yeah. read to you the what is usually in your ice cream when you buy it at the store. What's in the ice cream? Okay, here's the one that creeped me out. Locust bean gum. Look, who, <laughs> I'm not putting that in any of my recipes. Yeah. And then they hide high fructose corn syrup. They hide monodiglycerides. They hide locust bean gum. They hide guar gum. You know, I like this artificial vanilla. Okay, I want real vanilla in my vanilla ice cream. There's sodium in this. There's some other kind of potassium. I'm supposed to watch the potassium in my diet. There's corn sugar. Here's the thing. I don't care whether it's National Ice Cream Day or not, we are putting ice cream back on the menu. And I'm gonna say it again. The least of what you're going to do is ice cream because milkshakes and sorbets and froze roses. And here's the other thing about this, Rochelle. Um, you've been doing such an amazing job with you and your team and Amanda today. But the big thing for me is like, sometimes when you're watching your diet, you feel cheated. Mm -hmm. You could freeze yogurt and blueberries. Absolutely. And now if I'm just eating that for breakfast, I'm like, like, oh, Donna, I'm eating yogurt, blueberries. You freeze it and then suddenly... And then it's a treat. Then you're eating ice cream <laughs> for breakfast. And it's, well, who wouldn't want ice cream for breakfast, right? I love a good froyo. And if you ever go to some of the frozen yogurt shops, they, they charge you for the weight. They do. Uh, and then if you want to add a a additional toppings, whether that's fruit or, or any other toppings, they're charging for the weight. So it can end up being like $10 for a cup of froyo. Now you can do it at home with your own frozen yogurt, your own blueberries. Uh, but I'm doing something decadent here. You're talking about healthy eating. I'm yeah. going for, <laughs> for some... <laughs> I love cookies and cream. And see, we've been with the yin and yang of, of the creamy. I like that. So That's this working. is cookies and cream. Here's your seven different program settings. They are each programmed for the right speed, the right pressure, uh, and the right amount of time that it needs to go through the pint, depending on um, what the program is. So you've got ice cream, light ice cream, gelato, milkshake, smoothie bowl, sorbet. You also have this button here for mix-ins, which is um, what I'm about to use right. to mix in my cookies. cookies and cream. Yep, okay. and then there's respin. So if you don't finish your pint, which I usually finish my pint. <laughs> But if you That's don't, finish, if you don't finish your pint and you want to put it back in the freezer and want to respin it the next day, you can use that respin button. So I'm going to hit Brilliant. the mix-ins. And you know what, Rochelle? As you do that, I already have to give a quantity update, and I apologize for that. Here's the Scooby Dooby. Um, I am upgrading to the rose gold as we speak. I got the silver for my niece. Lexi, it's a good thing you texted on Shannon because Kevin, fewer than a hundred of the silver. Is that okay? We have fewer than a hundred of the silver. Unless you are calling now, bub by silver. The blue. You know what I'm talking about. You Google the world. You just get that. I'm, you just see how much they're charging you to get blue, just because it's blue. And I think they give you one or two point pints. We're giving you five of those creamy pints. Well, we're not upcharging you for the designer blue. I have, Kevin, I'm sorry, 150 of them. Oh, I'm sorry, 120 of that designer blue. My rose gold, okay? I am loving on my rose gold. And by the way, it is more of um, a champagne color. You know what, I'm gonna pick it up here just to prove a point. So I've got dexterity issues. Oh, it's plugged in, <laughs> there we got it tucked in. But it's about the size of a coffee maker. I mean, for all intents and purposes, but I want you guys to see that color. Are you done making ice cream? Yeah, that was it. I didn't even get through I all was the like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's how fast it is. Okay, that's, <laughs> our, our, all right, cinnamon, only 1,000, white, I think three or 400 maybe. Mm -hmm. So in less time, okay, it takes me about three minutes to pop popcorn in my microwave. That's true. You can make ice cream faster, faster. than popcorn. <laughs> I can even make think about ice that. cream faster than it takes me <laughs> to pop popcorn in my microwave. And by the way, no rock salt, no turning, mm -hmm. no taking up real estate in yeah. your freezer. Um, no added or things. Yeah, I don't want locust bean gum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all those things food. you can't pronounce. Yeah, all those things I can't pronounce. Now, Rochelle, what is in that? Okay, so it's a cookies and cream, but what so did you do? So we started with a vanilla base. So there's the recipes in the, in the cookbook for sure. all of the different bases, like vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. And then there's all the different mixings sure. that you can do. So this started with the vanilla base. Again, just cream, milk, uh, sugar, a little bit of vanilla. And then we added some um, cookies and we mixed those in to do a wonderful cookie cookies and cream. And look at the consistency of Isn't that. Look beautiful. how beautiful it scoops. Can, can I just make a quick little point? Mm -hmm. And wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm going to 
we're gonna stamp that silver sold out here in a second and why I hope you're calling. But Rochelle and I were talking before the show and I cheated, I did two peach cobbler recipes but for the holiday season, mm -hmm. pe peppermints are always in, in season. Hazelnut is always in season. Peppermint mocha, dairy or non-dairy, you can freeze your favorite creamer and put it in this and hit a button. Mm -hmm. You can freeze your favorite creamer, non-dairy or otherwise, hit a button, and in two minutes, about two, two, two and a half minutes, you are going to have ice cream. So if you check me out on Facebook, Shannon Smith on HSN, I've got two different recipes and um, uh, I'm always posting how-to videos. Now, what one is that, Rochelle? Which one do you have there? Uh, you were talking about non-dairy creamer. This is a non-dairy oh, creamer. Is it yes. really? <laughs> Shut up. Is it really? Oh my I word. do the same thing. So when I, when I don't want to take time to do, you know, some of the recipes uh, in the book, which really don't take a lot of time at all, maybe yeah. 10 minutes to mix. But when I really want to be lazy, I will take my favorite non-dairy creamer, my hazelnut yes. uh, creamer. I will freeze it overnight and then I will have a wonderful hazelnut, uh, uh, I guess this would be sorbet. I don't know what you would call yeah. the creamer or, or, or uh, um, dairy-free ice cream. It has a little bit of cookies mixed in there, so I, yeah. as I use the same scoop. Oh, but this, okay. if you want to try it. <gasps> you know, you've got an update. <laughs> okay. Lexi, honey, you got your silver. If you didn't call, sadly, you did not. Vinny, you ready for me? Okay, the little handoff. Bye-bye silver. My blue, now the blue, we have the final 100. Now just listen, I know how smart you guys are. Um, you can do a little search. First of all, you can compare, even on the Ninja website, you're spending $230 for this. I search, I shop everywhere, let's be honest. Um, I know where you shop, I shop there too. They were charging you, um, uh, a lot more than $168 just to get the blue. And I, I try and remember their product description. I think you were only getting, gosh, I think you might've only gotten one pint with theirs for over $200. Now, again, you know, you do your little search and I'll just tell you, you're not gonna find this anywhere else. By the way, you're not gonna find it here at HSN after this show. This is your last chance, your final opportunity. We just sold out of the silver. We have the final 100 of the blue. You're getting not one, not two, not three, which by the way, this is, this is already the, what I purchased as a show host because I spent $200 and I think I got two pints with mine and it sold out. You're getting five. Then we give you the cookbook. I got mine original one in white, which is this creamy white, vanilla white, final 400 there. Cinnamon, the reds are always our most popular color in the kitchen here at HSN. We have the last 1000, but then if you are partial, if you fancy, uh, and if you love something that just looks uber rich, I'm telling you, you'll never take this off your counter because you, you, we have the final 600 of the rose gold, which is really kind of a champagne. You hit a button, you hit a button. It takes you longer to make a, 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 a potato or popcorn in your microwave than it does to have homemade fresh ice cream, dairy-free, sugar-free, uh, lactose-free. Just use fresh fruit. Use your favorite dairy creamer. You can make this as easy and as fast as you want two, two and a half minutes. Um, if you check out that behind the scenes video, I was making fresh ice cream while, while Marlo and Rochelle were on the air earlier. Let's talk about some of the healthier options though, because Absolutely. otherwise people, if you do have dietary restrictions, sometimes you feel a little cheated. Exactly, but you don't have to feel cheated anymore. So let me show you how easy it is to make ice cream. So I'm gonna take a can of pineapple, I'm gonna put it in my pint, nice. I'm gonna put the lid on it, and I'm gonna put it in my freezer overnight. So I'm gonna freeze this for 24 hours. Here's what it looks like after it's frozen for 24 hours. So it's just frozen solid, right. frozen solid pineapple and pineapple juice. You could do sugar-free if you wanted. Um, you could even do peaches or some other fruit. Now I'm gonna open this up here and show you what it looks like when it's done. It's right. a beautiful whipped pineapple. I'm even going up and over here. This is how easy it is to use. I'm using it, it backwards is. And today. By the way, we'll give you like a little small tutorial. There's mm -hmm. not a tutorial, but you know what I'm saying. And But it is kind of cool to watch. Now that was just this the is pineapple. just pineapple. There's one ingredient in here, pineapple, wow. and that is it. People always ask Rochelle, you do use the juice, right? Yes, yes no? you use the juice. Okay, you definitely want to use the juice. So use the pineapple and the pineapple juice, but it's just one ingredient in that it's just one can of pineapple and the pineapple chunks and the juice that comes with it. Awesome. Um, so that is a, a one ingredient wonder, but you can also do this with bananas. Um, you know, I've done that, you know, oh. if you've ever had bananas, we're usually mashed up and make <laughs> banana bread. Now you can make banana sorbet instead. So any 
fruit you want. The strawberry is really delicious as well. Um, so you can really do those lower sugar, sugar-free uh, fruit sorbets if you want. Um, you can do dairy-free. I prefer dairy-free is yeah. what I usually well, kind of sure. go for or, um, you know, just to kind of do the lower cal. Absolutely. Uh, or you can make it really decadent if you want. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you have not, um, because a lot of things happened to me medically this last year and I had to go completely dairy-free free for a while, which in which case I, I, it was not a good, I was not living my best life. And I had to price out how much those non-dairy ice creams go for. First of all, they're a fortune and they don't taste good. I'll just mm -hmm. tell you that right now. The, the video that you're looking at, this is restaurant technology. This is restaurant technology. Two quick things that people always ask, and then I'm going to sell out of your blue. I'm going to show you again. The blade is built into the lid. So people always ask, how do I clean it? Basically, now I'll be perfectly honest. I, I, I do not have a dishwasher at home. Frankly, I wouldn't use it on this anyway. You can, it's dishwasher, you know, top rack dishwasher safe. I rinse my stuff out. I mean, it's seriously, it's rinse true. it out with a little really soap easy. and water. <laughs> and then the other thing about this is it is 800 watts of power. But you also have to remember, because of that exclusive creamifying blade mm -hmm. or system, it maximizes the performance. I don't care if you're doing non-dairy creamer. I don't care if you're fruit, doing fruit. I don't care if you're doing a custard or gelato or a milkshake. If you can hit a button, it is harder to, 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 to use your cell phone. It is harder to program your microwave than it is to hit a button and have fresh ice cream in a basically less than three minutes, two minutes and 36 uh, seconds, if you want to be exact. That's how much time it took for me. So we are feeding the crew. Uh, we're feeding Miss Marlo. We're feeding you. <laughs> you got the strawberry. I'm going back for this. See? Yeah, yeah, she just snuck it in and she's like, I like the strawberry. <laughs> so I, I just kind of snuck around in there and just gave her the whole pie because it's so delicious. I mean, I think once you try real <laughs> ingredients at home, it's like you've never had strawberry ice cream before. I remember the first time I made the strawberry ice cream in my creamy, it was um, during uh, Florida strawberry season, which is kind of yeah. around February. Oh my gosh. And the first time I made it, I was like, oh, I've never it's had amazing, ice cream this good. Because you really get the true flavors of it. It's Can I really ask good. you a question? Yeah. So I have frozen peaches in the freezer here. Mm -hmm. Now, how could I, so could I combine frozen peaches with a little non-dairy creamer? You want to put it you... in unfrozen so it freezes all together as one. Gotcha. Yes, yes. Okay. Ah. Use your fresh peaches and the fresh peach juice. Because you want it to be kind of solid. Well, that it, makes sense. It is really easy. Yeah, There's a max yeah. fill line here. So you just want to make sure that it's filled up to the max fill line uh, with, with like your peaches and peach okay. juice. So let me ask that again, because mm -hmm. I think for a lot of people yeah. who are watching and we talk about the 90 seconds you'll put your fresh fruit Yep. You'll add your cream, mm -hmm. right? You put it in your pints because you you've your got pint. five pints. Yes. So you'll add your creams, your sugar, your vanilla, whatever it is that you're going to mm -hmm. add to it. And then you'll pop that in the freezer yes. for the 24 hours. Yes. And then once you pop it out of the freezer, then you'll come over the one touch button and the magic yeah. happens in 90 Can seconds. Exactly. Um, quick update. I hate to keep doing this, but listen, you snooze, you lose. Unless <gasps> oh you're, my okay. gosh, that table is going to be empty in a minute. We have uh, <laughs> basically two dozen blue, Okay. Two dozen blue. I'm going to take that away. Oh, hurry, here in don't just a miss second. it. It's, this is such I mean, a seriously. great value. I, 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 if you saw my videos, I, I own the creamy white, but I will tell you this as a show host and employee of HSN, I spent $200. $200 when this sold out of one of two times here at HSN. And let me just show you what I didn't get. When I got mine, when I got mine for basically $200, I got this and I got this. Okay? I got this and I got this. Today, for the lowest price that we have found anywhere, it's certainly that I have found because, I, you know, yeah, well, you know, those people that do their big days and whatever, I thought, oh, let me just see. You got to read the fine print. They had one pint, one pint, almost your price of admission. Ninja website, you're looking at $230. Now, here, I, I'm arguing with this if purchased separately, which I've been a handful today, my poor crew. Um, so here's why I'm arguing with that. You know how that price says $229? This is not the regular <laughs> configuration, just so you realize that. So not one, not two, not three. How about four? Oh, how about we throw in another one? And that's the secret to the whole system. And the other thing about this is you have to remember, um, by the way, we now have about two dozen of the blue. I have the last uh, 500 of my rose gold. I am dipping below the 1,000 mark on my cinnamon. And I have, uh, Kevin, 300. Oh, that 300 white is of my beautiful. white. Now, here's the other thing. If you if you saw my video uh, with the caramel puff corn, I made this with my mom when I was at home. The the audio that I dumped was me and my mom arguing the whole time. That's not two thirds of a cup. That's not a full <laughs> cup. That is a cup, mom. So this is the whole audio, right? 
You can't mess this up. With normal recipes, especially when it comes to sweet recipes, you gotta be very finicky. You have to say, mm -hmm. okay, if it says two tablespoons, you better use two tablespoons. If it says a quarter cup packed brown sugar, you better put you know, quarter cup packed brown sugar. You can't screw this up. Whatever you freeze, let me say this again, whatever you freeze, you can turn into ice cream, you can turn into sorbet, you can turn into a milkshake. Now, like Rochelle was saying, you don't even have to, to I won't say waste your money, but you don't even have to get all fancy. I gotta buy fresh peaches. Buy your frozen peaches, just mm -hmm. let them thaw. Mm -hmm. Just let them thaw. I mean, if they're on sale, keep them, keep them in your you know, freezer, let them thaw, throw them in the pint. You've got ice cream in two and a half minutes, right, absolutely, Rochelle? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm trying to create a little tower of pistachio so here, <laughs> <laughs> and we've and we've made put so many nuts in it that it's like it's it, it's really leaning. I'm really creating the little tower of uh, pistachio. But really, I think having those fresh flavors and fresh ingredients really makes a world of difference. You know, if you're following a certain diet, you know, you can make the dairy free, gluten free, oh, yeah. uh, uh, you know, low sugar. You can control those ingredients. Plus, you can get really creative with it. Sometimes when you look for those um, specialty ice creams at the store. You're very limited in the amount of flavors that there are. Now you can make your own and you're not limited to the flavors that are just in the grocery store. You can get creative and make your own at home. Rochelle, yes. I have to give another update. Sure. I am so sorry about <laughs> this. But, um, and this is, I promise you, it's not to panic anybody. Blue, unless you are somewhere in the various forms of ordering, bub by, look at it, there comes Vinny, getting his steps in. Um, now, we've got a blue if you're, if you're, if you're making your call or you're going to hsn.com, okay? So bye-bye blue, bye-bye blue. Um, my personal prediction, I know we've got slightly more of the rose gold, but with only 500 remaining in that rose gold, I think the rose gold actually might sell out before the white. Um, rose gold, about 500. White, we have the final 300. And then on the cinnamon, about 1,000. So here's how many we've sold, okay? We're getting close to that, you know, getting close to that 15,000 mark. Kevin, can I do it? Can I show them how few we've got left? There are fewer than 2,000. Am I, okay. Oh, no! No. <laughs> Here's the thing about that quantity Wow! Left. I know. Here's the <laughs> thing about that quantity left, because people always ask, is it oh, real? Oh, you guys better get going. <laughs> well, the problem with the quantity left is it does not take into account the manner or the mode with how many people are calling. So, if we factor that in, we've probably got about 1,000. Okay. Well, I got mom. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> look oh, at Emily and Morgan. It. Everybody's enjoying it. I can't you it. not. Today. Yeah. Today's the this day. This is going to sound horrible. <laughs> but the only thing that I've horrible. eaten today is ice cream. I, I kid you not. You know it what, though? So you got funny. some spinach and peas in there. With I did. I'm not chef. telling. I really celebrated <laughs> National Ice Cream Day the right way. So I, I actually have that right in my hand now. So this is the sneaky mint chocolate chip. So this is mint chocolate chip ice cream, but we used spinach and peas to give it that green color. So there's yeah. no added color in there. There's Gosh, no food beautiful. dyes. You don't taste the spinach. You know, it's that kind of the same theory of like when you throw spinach in your smoothie, except now you're putting it in your ice cream and you don't taste it at all. So you're able to get, you know, that serving of vegetables, <laughs> but have a mint chocolate chip flavor. So you can be sitting on the couch I having know. your pint of mint chocolate chips so and, and feel good about it. Let me say this again. You can have ice cream for breakfast and you're like, she's lost her mind. You can have ice cream for breakfast because, all right, do you eat yogurt in the morning? You're like, oh, I'm trying to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. Do you put a little fruit in it? Okay, I'm trying to eat healthy. You freeze it, guess what? You're eating ice cream for breakfast. Ice Absolutely. cream for breakfast. <laughs> so I'm telling you, you could do sweet, you could do savory, the olive oil that we had on earlier. I have made homemade olive oil rosemary ice cream before, and let me just tell you, it's <laughs> work. <laughs> okay. oh, oh, you it's work. I see why Shannon's so yeah, thin. Yeah. Oh, please. So, so if you're wondering what's the difference between the Smiths, <laughs> Shannon loves is a throw down cook. I and love it's that. clear that I'm an expert eater. Uh, it is and I'm a little bit of both here, so. <laughs> like Don't you agree? I like, do, yeah, I yeah. Am, I'm, I'm like back here eating every, and everything. <laughs> do you want so the pint or do you want the, uh, the scoop? Oh, come on, yeah, I'll take the scoop. Just keep, take the scoop, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's about half and half now, so right, go ahead and take the scoop. Well, all right, I'll take the scoop. Yeah, yeah, take the scoop. I know it's your favorite, so. <laughs> and that's another serving of vegetables. <laughs> it is, but Marla, you, first of all, you're so sweet to say that, but you know, part of my deal is I like to feed everybody, and you oh, know, know that's you, true. Oh, my gosh. You know that's true. I won't tell everybody about the whole ant. And the cookies. 
<laughs> but she really does. I do. I love but cookies I love that for about everybody. Me, but I do. And he, so here's the thing. And I know Sarah was talking about this last night. Mm. If you're buying this anywhere else, uh, you're being selfish because you're getting one pint. If you're buying this anywhere else, you're being selfish. You get maybe two pints. You buy this anywhere else, you're spending, I won't say quite $100 more, but let's say $40, $50, $60 dollars more, depending on where you're, you're shopping. And I can say that because normally you're just getting one or two pints. This, you're feeding a crowd. And by the way, if you're like me, I actually just upgraded to the rose gold right now with the last 400 to go around. Um, Kevin, do I have any more of my extra pints left that they can purchase? I know you're getting five. Um, I actually bought another set of extra pints because what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna do non-dairy options, dairy, I'm always gonna have them in my, my freezer. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I, I do not have a lot of freezer space because I'm on auto ship for anything that Curtis Stone has ever made. You know, I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, this you can fit. And the other thing is, while yes, it is top rack dishwasher safe, obviously you're not putting the machine in the dishwasher. There's really no cleanup. I can tell you that for a fact. Um, uh, I was just talking to Amanda behind the scenes and Amanda is one of the great forces uh, behind the Ninja team. And I said, well, how long are you guys going to be here cleaning up? They've had a 24 hour event. Mm -hmm. Normally our culinary teams, Amanda, would you say normally it's like a, at least a two hour process to clear down the dishes and the whole nine yards. Um, I, I was talking to them behind the scenes. What do you think, maybe 20 minutes? 20 minutes, they'll be out of here. They've been making ice cream for 24 hours. It's maybe gonna take them 20 minutes to clear down from the whole day. For the dishwasher, Amanda's like, I'm throwing this stuff in the dishwasher mm -hmm. and then I'm leaving with my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so Kevin, um, how many of my white do I have left? Oh man, get ready, get set, go. 200 of the white remain. So 200 of the white remain. Now look at how pretty you are with are your purple they, you, comb. You were talking about um, Froyo, so I went to go yeah. find some. I, I went down, down the line here. So this is a blueberry frozen yogurt. It shows Greek yogurt and blueberries. How delicious is that? That's so gorgeous. Really easy to make. Look at the beautiful color in there. I put it in a little purple cone so That's it matches. So, cute. so uh, what, Rochelle, what is in that again? So this is uh, blueberries and um, Greek yogurt. Just plain Greek yogurt. Did did you have blueberries and Greek yogurt for breakfast? I want an ice cream cone instead. Yes, absolutely. I want an ice cream cone. <laughs> I want an ice cream cone. That's blueberry yogurt. Hey, Kevin, I know we've only got five minutes left on this. Are they gonna let me spend a little extra time so we can sell this out? Let's do it. I have more things to make, why not? <laughs> okay, what? Okay, now Suzanne will forgive me. Does Suzanne have this in her weekly deals coming up? At oh. Now, see, but I will get scolded. Suzanne will come and, and find me. She's like, listen, miss, I heard you on the air. Um, so, now listen, I can't stop you if you order it now. Suzanne will have it at 11 o'clock. I just don't know what's gonna be left. Because we have uh, 200 only on the white, my rose gold, we, we have the final 400, okay? And fewer than 1,000 on the cinnamon. All I can tell you is this. If you call now, we've got it. If you call now, you'll get it. If you call now, you'll get the, certainly the best price that I've seen. But for $33 on your credit card, we'll pay to send it to you. I am sending one to the farm. Um, we, we have people on the crew I didn't even know were working tonight. All I can say is that it's on now. <laughs> Everybody's coming in for ice cream. So I just scooped a, a scoop of plain chocolate. So I'll put that there next to our... Uh, our delicious uh, froyo. I'm gonna make a milkshake if we've got a little time. Oh yeah, I know. How so do we do that? I'm gonna take them over here. I wanna see what you're doing. Okay, because yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I haven't done this yet. Yeah, so I, I, what it is, I took a scoop out so to have some room. It's plain chocolate. Okay. I'm gonna add a little milk. Gotcha. I'm gonna add some brownies and also some uh, peanut butter chips. Oh, and nice. Marlo had this earlier. She was like okay. really loving how delicious it is. Now, do out. you just melt your chocolate? How, I mean, how do you, or you can just no, no, squeeze no. chocolate flavor or what? You, yeah, yeah, so, the, so for the uh, chocolate ice cream, it's cocoa, a little bit of um, cream cheese, and then milk and So sugar. you'll just put all the ingredients yep, yep. into the pint you put and all you'll the mix the them together. I usually whisk it together in a bowl, okay. put it in the pint, let it freeze overnight and that makes your chocolate ice cream. And then to make the milkshake, I'm adding all my fixins in here because I want to okay. do a brownie milkshake uh, with nice. some peanut butter hey, and then add a little bit of milk. Rochelle, you've got you three minutes or sell out. Can you, can you make a milkshake? Oh, let's, see if we can make a, let's see if we can make a milkshake okay. in three minutes. You see that clock on your screen? Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're watching. Oh, don't miss we're watching. it. Milkshake, there it goes. Milkshake, all right, you ready? Um, <laughs> Ready, get set, go. White, a little over a hundred remain. So white, a little over a hundred remain. Last 800 of the cinnamon. And then Kevin, 400 of my rose gold, am I? Okay, 
oh, oh, I'm sorry, fewer than 400 of the rose gold. So we've got a little over 300, I would say 300, 350, you know, um, give or take. Now, this is the official final presentation. I think Susanna's at least gonna mention it next hour. Do not wait. Do not wait. I'm just telling you that right now. Um, you, you gotta get it because, Kevin, at this point, what do we have left, 1,500 only? Okay, so now remember, those 1,500, you just saw the counter at almost 15,000 sold. Those 1,500 do not take into account the hundreds and hundreds of people that we have in the various forms of ordering. If we do that, we're probably looking at the last 600 remaining. So all I can tell you is there's no downside to getting it. Even the Ninja website sells this for like $230. Uh, anywhere else in America, I have certainly never seen five creamy pints included. Um, you might want to ask about the extra pints because I'm telling you, you will use them. And this, 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 this Creamify blade is the secret sauce. That's basically restaurant technology, isn't it? It is, it is. That's that Creamify uh, paddle that's going through and it's shaving the, when you're making the ice cream, it's shaving the ice, applying pressure and speed and making it nice and creamy at the same time. But right now it's doing a lighter speed because it's just mixing in and making that restaurant quality style um, milkshake, which I did in three minutes, Shannon. Okay, <laughs> she, she's got time to spare. And, and I'm doing yeah. it backwards here. So here I've got time, time to, spare. to spare. Maybe I've got some time for whipped cream and stuff like that too. <gasps> if I can do this fast. So look at the wonderful texture of that. So you ever go oh, out to those man. fancy restaurants and they're doing the really crazy milkshakes now where they top it with a cupcake and Do you remember you know, the line in Pulp Fiction where yes. they order the milkshake and oh, they're like, yeah. what's in this milkshake? <laughs> I mean, seriously. So, ooh, I'm getting By the way, I, and I heard Sarah say this, you could make it a boozy version. You can make a you boozy like. version. We've done that a lot with the sorbets. I'll make mm -hmm. a, a boozy version with the sorbet. Oh, look but how pretty that is. Look at that. So, and it tastes delicious because Dang. it's got the bits of brownie. It's, I'm gonna go all out here <laughs> with, the, uh, with the chocolate. Go for so it. there we go. Uh, and a cherry on top because you've got to put a cherry on top. But you do. I, hey, Kevin, what do we have last? 1400, I think. Okay, final 1400. And it's really, I promise it's not to rush you along. I, I, was, I, I was begging for additional time in the control room. And Kevin's kind of happy, I think, that I'm on the air because now I can't go in there and bug and badger him. Um, they vetoed me, but I can tell you, I can't stop you. If you order it now, we will reserve one for you. And it is last call, y'all. Um, on the white, last 100, give or take, on that white. The cinnamon, I think we have the last 800. Um, and then my rose gold, 300. So 300, okay, 100. 300 only and last 800. So again, just I hope you get it. You can probably hear how excited I am. Um, you, <laughs> you know, okay. we are having so much fun. <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on. So I asked Rocky, I go, I go, what flavor do you have? He goes, I don't know, but it's so good. <laughs> like, it's, isn't it delicious? And it really is amazing how delicious Which, by the way, is. that lean me machine, Rocky, has gotten very fit as a fiddle. And, and he is so looking he, fine. So he is very, he's much more judicious <laughs> about his, uh, uh, you know, uh, food choices now. Yes. We yes. are putting ice cream on the menu. We are putting milkshakes on the menu. We are putting sorbets and gelatos on the menu, and we're doing it for this hour. It's the last official presentation. If you haven't called yet, I have absolutely no earthly idea <laughs> what you are waiting for. All I can tell you is I've got one for you now, but you have mine. to get it, have to get it, for sure. <laughs> I have sure. to get it. Um, by the way, um, by the time that Suzanne uh, comes up with her mention, the white will officially be gone. Rochelle, we, I, we don't even, nobody wants have, you to leave. I know, I know. I've got more to scoop, too. We've got a, a, a little mango sorbet. Well, listen, if you want to keep yes, making ice cream. I'll keep I, making ice cream. I mean, everybody's here why where, not? wanting to scoop, so I'll keep making ice cream. This is a lemon sorbet that I'm going to scoop here oh now. Oh, my So this is really word. just like lemonade, right? So it's just lemon, uh, water, and sugar. Lemon juice, water, and sugar to make a wonderful Ooh. lemon sorbet. Really light, refreshing. Nice. So you can control the ingredients. You can do it light, or you can do it decadent. I love that I can control. Look at how delicious that is. I got a little. Okay, uh, now to get that kind.
kind mm -hmm. of look on a sorbet? Are you yes. kidding me? Yes. That's virtually impossible. You it's know It's like that, right? restaurant quality style. So. Yeah. Um, hey, if I can make a personal recommendation, A, I want you to do it, but B, I want you to get those extra pints. And listen, I know you're getting five. I know you're getting more, but trust me, trust me, trust me on this. Um, you're going to want more. And whether you're doing an ice cream bar or a party or, you know, maybe you, you want to do some that are non-dairy, some that are sorbets, some of them are rosé. Uh, so, you know, you can have some fun with it. And I realize we're giving you more pints than anybody else, but there's no downside to at least having a couple extra ones, especially since they're only $19 and change. Exactly. You'll want the extra. You, you'll want the extra. <laughs> you definitely you know, will. You will. Oh, Rochelle, I just don't want to let you go. I know. I don't want to stop scooping ice cream. I'm I having know. a lot of fun. <laughs> well, you know what? Marlo's doing the next item. So maybe, you know, I've been, I've been yabbity yabbity. Now you, I can eat. You can eat. Pick, yeah. pick your pint. We've got some pistachio there. I know is your favorite uh, chocolate. I'm you, dig you, in. You've got your whole choice of, of I flavors. Do. Well, sadly, not a lot of choices remaining because we are selling this out. You need to be calling. Uh, by the way, brand new today's special coming up with Suzanne at 12 midnight. And we, you know, we live on these internet feeds and I'll just tell you when when the internet goes down at HSN it's not a good day <laughs> it's just not a good day if your internet goes down no matter where you are well wait until you see what has uh, what Susanna's gonna have for you at tw uh, 12 midnight because it's really what biz ooh, really what businesses use in the meantime I'm gonna get a snack don't hang up on your creamy today special we'll be back in a minute every Monday night I'll be here to help you make your house a home I'll bring you new ideas to keep you safe to provide comfort and convenience. So start your week with me. Watch Adam's Open House Monday nights at 9. It's HSN's Birthday Bash Weekend, and you're invited to join the fun. We're having a party, and all your favorites are coming. Don't miss Andrew Lessman in studio with special pricing and free shipping on all vitamins and supplements. Celebrate with Chef Curtis Stone live from Australia, plus new and exclusives from Beekman 1802. And if you love birthday surprises, we'll have one every hour for the entire weekend. Join the fun for our best birthday bash yet, July 22nd through 24th. Birthday, and you're invited to unwrap special birthday surprises all month long. We're going to be talking about locally farmed cream and rich, beautiful butter and kettles and slow cooked and churned. We're going to be offering to you a chance to be able to get some of the world's most delicious caramels. Have you guys tried Cassie's caramel? We have today a special value of Cassie's caramels and a two pound gourmet offer. I want to show you what you're going to get. You'll get a full pound of the butter. You'll get a full pound of the sea salt. They're wrapped the old fashioned way and they're all so prepared and small batches the way that you would have done many 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 years ago and today we get to share it with you at an incredible value of $26.95 here's what you'll do you'll make a decision on when you'd like to have this ship and we have two ship dates perfect for the holidays you can choose the ship date right before Thanksgiving and you'll receive these by November 18th if you're choosing the November ship date or if you'd like to have these arrive right in time for Christmas, you can choose our December ship date and you will receive this by December 16th. The third option that you have is to also sign up for auto ship, which means whether you choose November or December, you can receive these every 90 days. Joining us for the presentation to tell us all about these amazing and delicious caramels is our wonderful friend, Amy Garden. Amy, this is a perfect tie-in. It's National Ice Cream Day. We've been talking about all sorts of treats but this is really unique and different because these are all made that old-fashioned way low churn slowly cooked in a kettle all the rich butters and the amazing locally farmed creams just the way that you imagine to get that authentic mouth-watering soft <laughs> delicious caramel that literally that. melts in your mouth it does. You are not kidding there. Oh my gosh, Marlo. This is the most delicious caramel I think I've ever had in my life because this is the way caramel was intended to be made. So Cassie, her grandfather, uh, back in 1935, would produce and um, sell fresh farm to his rural community. Well, Cassie took that love for that just 
home values and fresh goodness. And they had this great caramel recipe in their family. And she said, I want to make these caramels, but I want to make them the way that they're intended to be. So they only use fresh cream and fresh butter from their local dairies. They do these in small batches in kettles and they do not add flavoring. So a lot of caramels that you go out there and get today, they're flavored with caramel. These are made the way that your grandmother would have made them in the kitchen, in the small kettles, the slow cooking that just caramelizes that cream and that butter together. And I'm telling you, there's three things about this that's so delicious. One is the flavor. This is caramel, buttery, gooey, gooey, delicious, melt in your mouth. Two is the consistency. I mean, look at this. They're so soft. I can just pull and pull and pull. It's not gonna stick to your teeth. It doesn't stick to my fingers. It just melts in your mouth. And then three is that quality of ingredients. It's, I'm, this is just the caramel to die for. And then two, you're getting two pounds of caramel. So two huge boxes, two pounds of caramels. The real way caramel needs to taste, the real way that caramel should be. But they're so, so, so delicious. I just. I love these. I'm going to get in there. The fact that Go ahead, Amy. Go ahead and finish. Oh, I just love the fact that they're wrapped in the wax paper with the wax paper twist. It's just so, takes you back. It's so nostalgic. And, oh, it's yeah. Lovely. You know, I think what's wonderful about this is that, you know, maybe your mom or grandmother or someone in your family, like, made candy. And this is kind of a nod to that nostalgic, kind of old-fashioned, delicious, using wholesome ingredients. And I think that's the important part. You talked about the wax paper. I love that. You can see super soft. Soft. I'm gonna take this right out of the packaging. Look at how nice and soft that is. And you talked about this not being sticky. Um, it will stick to your teeth, the richness of the butter, the beauty of the cream that you have, and of course, the value that we get to offer. Now, I wanna show you what remains because we've been offering this now for a couple of days. And remember, all you have to do is choose your ship date, but you'll need to jump in quickly because we have just about 400. You'll get two individual boxes, two pounds, and you'll get two flavors. So we have, you'll get both both the sea salt as well as the butter. I think you're gonna love them both, which is really wonderful. Whether it's hosting Thanksgiving or having a little holiday soiree or being able to give these as two individual gifts during the holiday season, all you have to do is pre-order it now. And remember, yours won't be made until they're shipped. So that's important for you to know because you are deciding whether or not you'd like to have these delivered by November 18th or if you would like to have these delivered by December 16th. 16th, right in time for the holiday. We did have another option of the immediate shipment, but that one's already sold out. And I love that you guys are so anxious to be able to try them. If you love delicious caramel, then these are going to become your all time favorites. Please stay on the phone lines for these. I know that we are continuing to be very busy and I will let you know when these are absolutely sold out. Thank you, Amy, so much. We love it that oh you're God, here. You, and congratulations. I love that these have been so thank popular. You. Oh my gosh, they're to die for. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. As, as a matter of fact, I'll sneak a couple of, and I gotta hook my girlfriend, Miss Shannon, up too before they take this all away. So let me just take a few here. <laughs> so Shannon will have a chance to try them because I believe that these are on their way to selling out. Okay, you guys know about our weekly deal drops. We drop seven new deals every Monday that are designed to last seven days. Well, guess what? Today is Sunday, which means this is your final chance today to be able to to get, I think, one of the best try dolls that we have ever, ever offered because David's Cookies, that world famous cookie shop that years and years ago had a line waiting outside of the door to be able to buy their cookies is back at HSN. And for those of you who know David's Cookies, you know them for their incredible number one best selling pecan meltaways. We're going to give you a full pound of the pecan meltaways, a full pound of the pecan meltaways on David's website could cost you anywhere from $24 to $25. We're gonna give you that full pound. We're also going to give you their crumb cakes. And for those of you that have shopped with us for David's, you know how amazing their crumb cakes are. You get the raspberry, which is my favorite, and you also get that original, and they're all individually wrapped, something that we've not done before in this offer. And finally, you don't get one, you get two types of brownies. They also have the number one best-selling brownies at HSN. You'll get that incredible melted chocolate brownie 
that you guys have fallen in love with, super moist, bake fresh to order, and you get their incredibly famous cheesecake brownie all individually wrapped. You'll get a total of eight of those, eight of the crumb cakes. You'll get that full pound of the pecan melt away. And I love what we've done here. For the holiday season, we've given you these beautiful holiday boxes. So they will come in three individual holiday boxes. The third we're now have to show you in a moment, but aren't they gorgeous? Joining me for the presentation is my wonderful friend who I've known forever and our David's Cookie expert, Miss Adina Michio. I cannot believe it, girl. If somebody had told me that I would be working with you tonight, I would have said there's just no way. Hey, Adina, before we get into it, I've got to get in there and let everyone know. Final day to get these. Did the weekly deal drop expires tonight? And you're only pre-ordering these, which is wonderful. You'll choose a November ship date or a December ship date, which is terrific on these. And they will all be baked fresh before we ship them to you, which is, it's gonna make for the perfect way to be entertained this holiday season or to have three incredible gifts. I, I couldn't agree more. And I am so excited to be with you tonight. My friend, sending you virtual hugs. Oh, thank you. And I have to say, Marlo, you've seen us with Try It All. In fact, you were probably one of my first hosts to air Try It All with me 12 years ago. But do you know what you didn't have then? You didn't have individually wrapped brownies and crumb cakes. Individually wrapped in each box. You are receiving tonight that full pound of pecan melt away, as you mentioned. You are receiving a full pound of our individually wrapped brownies in two flavors, chocolate chip and cheesecake. And you are receiving one and a half pounds of our individually wrapped crumb cakes, four raspberry, four original butter crumb. This is a try it all for the season. The value is incredible, and that's something that I want to mention to you because, again, just to buy our pecan meltaways, we've had the pecan meltaways as it's today's special. You're getting that full pound. Remember, beg fresh to order. Think about all the secret Santa gifts that we have during the holiday seasons. Think about all the little holiday parties where you're asked to bring something. This is your final day to be able to reserve it. The December ship date is the most popular. I love what you guys have done with these holiday boxes. This is something that we've never Ever done before you've got Never. three great gifts to give and they're all oh, they're bow and go I mean you literally are able to put a bow on these or add a cart and you're all set yeah we really thought of everything we said okay so it's July it's Christmas in July but what are you thinking ahead about doing are you thinking about finally gathering maybe as a family a little larger maybe you're gonna want to put out the whole spread let's go for it are you thinking about three great gifts? Well, we better make them giftable. So we gave you three exclusive designs that you are seeing here for the first time. I love it. There's something for everyone. Marlo, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor on your side. And let's get into these yummy goodies because I know I'm not as close. I want everyone to see those cookies, those brownies, those crumb cakes, everything that you have. Well, so that's our pecan melt away. Our signature number one cookie, not only here at HSN, but at David's Cookies. That's our number one cookie. Why? It's a butter-based, tender, light, crispy cookie. Perhaps, you, you know, we talk about... I've been watching you guys and you've been talking about nostalgia and people's recipes. Maybe someone in your home or your aunt or your grandmother made wedding cookies. This is our version. We call them meltaways because they will melt in your mouth. You receive a full pound of them, roasted pecans. So that's your nut lover. We go into the brownies. We're going to take care of your chocolate lover, but we're going to do it with eight individually wrapped brownies, including our famous cheesecake brownie. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no! Pure melted down chocolate in that brownie. You know that, Marlo. 
I do indeed. We do have a clock up on the screen. The, again, if you haven't already ordered, these will be made baked, fresh to order. One of the things that I was thinking of, Adina, as you were talking about some of the ingredients, just even with the pecan meltaways, is how expensive these ingredients are. I mean, to be quite frank, most of us, if you had to buy the ingredients to make the pecan meltaways and the cheesecake brownies and the melted chocolate brownies and the raspberry, you'd yeah. probably spend more and you 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 also now have to go home and bake them and perfect them leave all right. the work to us we've got you covered and we've beautifully packaged them for you now here's what you need to know this is going to be your final chance to be able to grab this all you're doing is reserving it all you're doing is pre-ordering it and this is your chance to be able to get this exclusive offer you can't find it anywhere most of you will pay close to 24 25 dollars just for the pecan meltaways these are all your customer favorites number one best-selling yeah. cookie number one best-selling original and raspberry crumb cake number one best-selling brownie at the network and the cheesecake and your chocolate chip and at $39.95 in free shipping in the gift boxes will it be November shipment so that you can get this right before Thanksgiving or would you like to get this for the December arrival and as you said Adina these will be made baked fresh to order and all you're doing is saying yes and reserving it today yeah, I mean, say yes now, because when we get busy, I honestly could say, you guys know I've been with David's Cookies for now going on 24 years. We have no plans for any such try at all come the holiday season. So to your point, Marlo, November or December, baked fresh in our bakery, delivered right to your door. By the way, the pecan meltaways could stay right in your pantry for up to three months. The brownies and crumb cakes, if you're not going to enjoy them within a week, I want you to simply pop them in the freezer. You could cut these in pedophores for those cookie platters for your holiday buffet. Or again, you could give the gift of three times over. Oh the my brownies, gosh, look at how good those brownies individually look. Wrapped. Oh my gosh, those brownies, right? A couple of seconds in the microwave with a dollop of your homemade ice cream with your Ninja what? Creamy. Hello? Do you know how delicious yes, that's going to be? You know what you can make? You take a brownie. Listen to me now. Try to remember this in November or December. Slice it across two pieces. Homemade mint chocolate chip ice cream. Sandwich. Thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> we Thank love you, you so much, Adina. <laughs> Please tell your mom I said hello and I'm giving her big love. Oh, I will, and I love seeing you. Thank you for having uh, me tonight. Thank you for this incredible <laughs> value. Over 6,000 of these have been ordered. Keep in mind that that's an expiring buy, and it expires tonight, Miss Shannon. I know, girl. So do all of these weekly deal drops. That's crazy. I know. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm shopping. <laughs> well, you either shop now or all of these prices go away or they expire, so we definitely hope that you'll go to our website, asiasin.com. I love this one the most. Yeah, me too. Just because, I mean, you know the holidays get so busy Please. and there's a lot to do and I love that these will come baked fresh they're gonna be so delicious well my girlfriend Shannon has some more you still are walking around with that ninja like cream. a little baby I'm carrying it in my arms do you, how many colors are remaining because I think I think we started the day with like eight colors and then I saw you at three I know right in fact the white I have fewer than a hundred <gasps> oh no On my rose gold we've got the last 300 and then about 500 or so on the cinnamon Kevin Okay, so... That um, white is beautiful. That's what you had it? with the peach cobbler ice cream. Know. It's so pretty. I know. So if you were trying to get through, um, Suzanne is actually going to mention this as part of her weekly deal drop last hour, but this was your final opportunity. If you call back now, I think we've got about 1,200 only remaining. You know, oh, last 1,000. Gotta get it, last 1,000. Okay, now with that in mind, I'm gonna make some ice cream toppings and I'm gonna do it with the number one kitchen item of all time. We have sold countless tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands as far as I know. I think the network has even lost track, but I do know it's our number one kitchen item of all time. And let me just point out, 
all of those thousands and thousands that we have sold have not been at $18.95. This is the lowest price that I have certainly ever, ever, ever had. And I'm just telling you, whether you want to take the prep out of the prep, whether you want to be inspired to eat healthy, want to, use, want to save time and money in the kitchen, do not buy that pre-shredded lettuce or cheese. Get your color of choice. Get the best price that we've ever offered that I've certainly had and get it with free shipping. I did not think they were going to give us both, the free shipping and the adjusted price. So we have, I think, Kevin, we call this teal in the system, if memory serves. So teal, it's really more of a turquoise. Uh, this we call rose gold. There's your red, there's your black, and yes, you get three interchangeable stainless steel drums. Lowest price I have ever had, and yes, we're going to pay to send it to you. You don't just want it. Trust me when I tell you, you'll want more than one. And he is the one and only John Florell. I always want him in my kitchen shows. John, I'm just telling you, this moves at the speed of light. It has never been easier, faster, or safer to do our shredding or grinding, right? All you do is put your vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese in the top, turn the handle, Shannon, and everything comes out in front into a salad bowl, frying pan, measuring bowl, anything you like. It does just about everything. I mean, you can take an entire English cucumber, put it in the top of the machine, make bread and butter pickles or cucumber salad. You can nickel down your carrots for canning, slice beets for pickling. It comes with this little food pusher that when you get down close to, you don't want to stick your fingers in there. So we give you this pusher to feed it down through. That way you never waste anything. You can't cut yourself and you get perfect slices. I mean, look at those cucumber slices, but it does just about everything. Here's three stocks of celery for soups and stews, for, for your stir fries. You bok choy, celery, and then when you get down close to your fingers, you've got that pusher. But I think here's the reason why everybody loves this machine so much. It's so simple to clean out and, and, and set up. It's so simple. All you do is unscrew the handle on the back, the, the, bowl, or the, the uh, drums are all stainless steel. These are all dishwasher safe. You're getting three drums. I just showed you the slicing drum. Uh, that's what I did, the carrots and zucchini. And here, here's your grating drum. Now, this is a coarse grating drum. You also get a fine grating drum with it. You get all three drums. Here, I'm going to switch over and use the grating drum, the coarse grating drum. Twist the handle on. That's all it takes to change it out. And look at this. Here, I'll put a potato in. You'll grate potatoes for potato pancakes, hash browns sharp cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese. You can grate carrots, coconut, chocolate. And I'll tell you what, the one thing you won't grate is your fingers because we give you this little pusher. Shannon, I know everybody's got one of these old four-sided tin can graters, right? I mean, first of all, I don't know how you'd clean one of these things, but <laughs> look at this. I mean, you, you slip on one of those old four-sided tin can jobs, and what are you doing there? You got nuts? Yeah, I got that nuts. Like peanuts. Yeah, because, you know, I, I'm you nuts, nuts, John. Are you nuts in the kitchen? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm nuts in the kitchen. You know that. I'm, I'm, I'm nuts about you, and I'm nuts about this. This is actually ice cream that we made in our uh, Creamy Today special. John, you know me. I have actually, um, I've got a couple of fingernails that have not grown back from even using, like, those little knuckle busters. It's safer. It's smarter. It's faster. It's more efficient. And, and I don't care how good you are with your knife skills. John, you are, a, you know, a ninja. You're great in the kitchen. I, there's no way that I could chop just nuts this beautiful, this fine, this uniform. And that's critical whether you're reducing a sauce with onions or whether you're putting nuts on your ice cream, right? Take out a big heavy food processor, plug it in the wall, do all the setup and clean up. This is why I think that the speed grader from Kitchen HQ has become the number one best selling kitchen gadget of all times on HSN. It's so simple to set up and clean. It's got a suction base. So you need a smooth countertop and tabletop and set that down. Put the top on, it just slides right on. Now you're gonna twist this collar and that's gonna lock it into place. So that suctions it down to your countertop or tabletop. It won't move around. Now you're gonna take whatever drum that you want. I'm gonna go to that coarse grating drum again, put it in the machine, twist the handle on, and then you're ready to set up. Now all you need is a salad bowl, frying pan, measuring bowl here. We had tacos tonight. How about this? Here, I'm gonna switch this little, I'm gonna move this over so you guys can see this better. Here, watch this. For tacos, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas. I mean, I'll tell you what, just for cheese alone, for homemade soups, stews, or chilies, uh, for salad, I mean, if this is all you use it for, just for grating cheese, it's worth uh, like two bucks a finger just to do that. But it does so much more because here, I'll put another bowl in front. 
Look at this. You can do eggs for egg salad. Here, I'll, I'll drop three hard-boiled eggs in the machine. Give it a little twist. Look at this. You're making homemade egg salad. It goes right into the bowl. In fact, if, you, if you're tired of chasing eggs around with a fork and a bowl <laughs> or a knife to try and make egg salad, look at how quick and easy this is. Now you can take your mayonnaise, put a dollop in the bowl, mix it up. You've got your, your egg salad ready to go. And, and it does all kinds of, here, here's, it does more work than a food processor can. Here's a ball of wet mozzarella cheese. We're gonna put that in the top of the machine and give it a turn. Look at this for homemade oh, pizzas, wow, John. lasagna, for homemade, I, I'll tell you what, wet mozzarella, you couldn't do that no on way. any other kind of grater, but in the speed grater, you can. Even things like, here, three soft pieces of bread. Make your own homemade breading or home, homemade stuffing. All you do is push it in the top, turn the handle, and look at this. You're making your own breadcrumbs for panko. I mean, it, it does more work than a food processor with half the setup and time and cleanup. <laughs> wow. filled up that bowl already. Hey, John, just so you know, the black, I think, Kevin, you said the last 150, uh, 150 only. Th to me, this is only, uh, the sale price is only as good as long as supplies last. Black is almost gone. There's our red. There's our rose gold. We call that teal in the system, but it's really more of a turquoise. This is a going, going, gone item. This is actually better than any today's special. I'll just tell you that right now, because John and I have sold countless thousands. I would say I've, I've personally sold probably tens of thousands with John and never, ever, ever at this price. I didn't buy it at this price. And I've got a couple of these because I'm in the kitchen all the time. You rinse them out. Yes, top rack dishwasher safe. Frankly, you'll never use it. Uh, the dishwasher, meaning because you'll just rinse it off. But I don't care whether you're using it with the final 1,000 today's specials or whether you're using it for cheese, for chocolate, for zucchini from your garden. If you only did cheese with this, it would pay for itself over and over again. And John, yes safer yes smarter yes more efficient even the best chefs in the world cannot get the same uniformity that this will get you in seconds right and, and the variety of things you can do i just put dry roasted peanuts i noticed you did some peanuts for your ice cream i added some m ms you can add whatever candies you like to this i've done candy bars perfect for homemade uh, hey listen if you're making a sundae cake or a pie and you need some pie toppings cake toppings maybe it's that meringue and you want to add some chocolate. Here's four bars of chocolate. We'll just put it in the top of the machine. Look, Shannon, how the chocolate comes out of here, curled up beautiful for a cake topping or for a latte. Or maybe you've got the grandkids over and you're making homemade cupcakes. You want to make a little chocolate shavings for the cupcakes or on top of a, a hot cocoa. All you do is turn the handle. It suctions down to any smooth countertop or tabletop. And look at this, no, elect no motors, no batteries. Here's some, here, drop some Oreo cookies in here. You can make Oreo cookie crust. In fact, here, let me show you this, because by changing out the drum, you change the machine. This is the coarse grating drum. I'm gonna pull this one out. I'm gonna go to the fine grating drum now. And when I put this one in, watch the difference, because now, here, here's an entire stack of graham crackers. We're gonna put that in, and look at this. We're making homemade graham cracker crust. You can put saltines in here for a chicken fish or meatloaf uh, uh, breading. All you do is put it in, and look, with that pusher, it feeds it down through so you'll never waste anything. You can't cut yourself. And take a look at the way that comes out of there. Wow. It comes out absolutely beautiful. Like I dust. Mean, it's per you know, instead of using graham crackers, try different things. Here's, a here's some Cheez-Its, okay? I love these things because they come in all kinds of different flavors now. They got jalapeno, they got spicy, they got all kinds of different cheeses. And look at this, you can just shove it in that lar extra large hopper in the front. And then with, th with the pusher, turn the handle and you've got Cheez-It breading for your, my wife makes the best mac and cheese. And what she does, I do this on the grater. I make Cheez-Its, grate them down like this and sprinkle it over the mac and cheese before and we bake it in the oven like that. With a nice cheesy crust on top of the mac and cheese. It's amazing. Wow. Uh, John, we are very busy. That black did sell out, by the way, so don't say that we didn't warn you. And remember, we have sold countless thousands of these at the regular price. We did both an adjusted sale price and our number one kitchen item of all time, and we are paying to set it to you. I, I almost defy you to not love this. I'm serious because I don't care whether it's sweets, whether it's savory. I keep saying if you only did cheese with this, it would pay for itself over and over again. John, there's a reason that all of the, all the kitchen items are gadgets. 
people get this at home and they can't believe it's like well, how did you ever live without it right well and i tell you what i hear more than anything is people will buy one they'll get it home try it out next thing you know they're ordering four or five more for christmas gifts and for housewarming gifts because it just makes sense right yeah i mean how many times have you wanted to make homemade hash browns but you there's no way you would do that on one of these old four-sided tin can jobs i mean you get close to your fingers, you either need a manicure or a band-aid. But with this, you can't, you, you really can't cut yourself. It does so much more work than an electric food processor and in half the time. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't so mess simple. it up, John. We love you as always. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday fun day. Thanks for be, you know, being up to shenanigans with us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Shannon. Hey, any fun, shenanigans with you anytime. I <laughs> love it. Thank you, John. Oh, Marlo, do you think, they'll let us do this again, don't you think? I think so. Probably like a fall edition. Oh, that'd be good. Fall harvest, <laughs> Halloween. Like that. Wouldn't that be fun? I know it. Oh, I love you, girl. I love you, too. And I we really love do. you. Thank you so much for shopping with us. Stay tuned. Suzanne's coming up next. We're making bigger, even better with our supersize values, and they're available only at HSN. Supersize values are based on the price per ounce of the same item in a smaller size. However, they do not reflect the price at which HSN would sell the item. Have questions? Call us at 1 800 284 3900. Celebrate HSN's birthday with the HSN card. You'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $399 all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $20 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash HSN card. It's our birthday, and you're invited to unwrap special birthday surprises all month long. 